Back for another episode of Morgan Fossil. Episode of Modern Fossil, oh, where Ace of Dunny, we are figuring out who killed the Jackhammer and who framed Roger Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Because I never found out. I don't think anything answers that question. You know, let's play a game, okay? Yeah. So the the topic is movies that are questions. The title yeah. is actually a question. Okay, and we'll ping pong and, and whoever runs out first loses, okay? Ah, shit. Uh, so, uh, uh, I said Hooper and Roger, Roger, Roger Rabbit, go. Okay, uh, uh, who let the dogs out? Yep, famous song. <laughs> got it. You know what? Mm, no, it's gotta be a movie. Son of a bitch! Couldn't think of one movie that I can't think of one movie. What about Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Ah. Uh. Yeah. You ever heard of that one? No. What about... Oh, oh, oh. Um... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, where's my car? <laughs> where's my car? You ever... You, I haven't heard of that. You ever heard of that? It's an Ashton Kutcher movie. Dude, oh, it's it? just, dude, where's my car? He, like, loses his car? I've never seen it. There gotta be another one. Movie titles that are questions. Get out? I, literally, is where my mind went. I went to get out for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I don't are, know. This place is pretty relaxing. Are you afraid of. Are. What? I mean, there was a. Are you afraid of the dark? Right? Uh, movie, wasn't there? I feel like there was. It's gotta be. Am I dead? It's gotta be a movie called Am I Dead, right? <laughs> Am I. Yeah, I mean, Who's you don't want a house? title to be a question. Are we alone? Yeah. No, I don't there's think there's not many films with questions. No, as the title. Literally, just who framed Roger Rabbit? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Dude, where's my car? Uh. What TV show? Dude, what will happen? Is that a show? That is a show. Now I'm like insanely curious. Comment below. Um, movie titles that are actually and we just... will literally watch all of them every oh, single yeah. film that oh, comes yeah. in we'll watch all of them that's right they give out in-depth review but first we haven't found anything what do we do oh yeah back to the game now my mind is plagued by that question okay wp was the only one who came to the studio and he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um. Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was there. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? I used my scanners to look around the room. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. <gasps> Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that she's the killer. Uh, she did it. She used her retinal scanners and lasers to kill him. No thanks. That helps, uh, that helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Oh, I can sense somebody. So, you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. 
I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick! What about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to Old Bag. Heck yeah, boy. Um, so believe it or not, it's October 16th at Global Studios. What if it just said, like, December 14th? I'd be like, heck yeah. It's been... Now we gotta find out how what happened during this time jump. Phoenix is dead and now you play as a new character. Your assistant is a, uh, a talking monkey. <laughs> Global Studios Main Gate. What? You're still here. Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Yeah, I'm looking at you. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure that you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Ah! <laughs> All right, you better tell me yeah, yeah, quick and tell me. You better tell me and tell me quick, you specky haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, you were just talking to the assistant in Studio One? Ha! Ah! She's not even a full time employee! Oh, you youngies don't like that nowadays. What are your mouths like? There was a no fucking way. <laughs> mm. Say tomorrow that there was no delay. And there was uh, the other thing. Well, uh, when I was young, let me tell you about that thing or two about respecting your elders back then. However, uh, what we did was a crying shame that you uh, you used today. Just say so, yeah, that you were pleased, but uh, please about our poor old ladies. Ah! <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Now we can look at the gate. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? <laughs> Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh, I think I remember this. There, entered. Hey, they printed out the data for, for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something, uh, something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number two. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Powers' photo taken at the gate. Uh, I mean, Powers' 
Photo. <laughs> Taken at the gate between the entrance of the studios. October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number two. Hey, hey, Nick. Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick! You're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why? You could be the next evil magistrate. Hey! Why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. As we go do the trial. It's a bit early to end the episode, so I guess we're going to be doing half investigation, half trial episode. Or we just do a small episode. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would if it was like 25 minutes, but no. Well, we could do a double release. No. All right. We're going to go continue on. We continue. Here we are continuing. We are continuing. Save your progress. You betcha. <sighs> Man, that is a... That's a nice yawn right there, you know. Very sexy yawn. Press B. That's the wrong button. B. Oh. Press B. Press B. You gotta press B. Good job. October 18, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom numero cuatro. Yes! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers! The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, uh, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October the 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call it first witness. Very well, I call the most familiar face Detective Gumshoe to the stand. My guy. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case for the uh, to the court. Uh, yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through on their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. Security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Ah. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder. Murder. The murder. This is the scene of the murder. Murder. This is the scene of the murder. <laughs> where the body was found. Detective, please, continue. <laughs> now on the day of the murder, <laughs> October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in employee area until noon. 
Then after lunch, the victim Jackhammer went to the studio one. Right after that at 1 p.m. the security lady got to the god station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lies in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. <laughs> That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. <laughs> Should I listen to that whole thing again? Please, please give it. Please don't. Why would we listen again? Because it was a bit a, a large wall of text. My God. Explaining everything. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval? Oh my God, the best word yet. <laughs> yeah. Samurai spear. This spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood! Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Mm -hmm. Oh god. Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Maybe I'll back, dearie. So just call me back, uh, Grandma. It's practically my name. So even when I was young, I was an old bag. But yeah, yeah, not really. I was just a name, dearie. See how the ch uh, the children would make fun of me just because of my name. Yeah, can you believe it? Uh, but there was this boy, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the captain of the chess club, the junior high. But uh, when, when he would call me an old bag, well, I just cried and cried, yeah, because I had a crush on him, you see. Objection! I object to the witnesses talking of this. Objection sustained! The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. Now let's just get into the good part, dearie. Perhaps we could get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, I was. And to get the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you? You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. What is this account? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then to five. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Thomas, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. We got a press stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always do this. Uh, arrive at 1. It's left bumper. Yeah. Hold it! So, up until that time, anyone who wanted to wanted to, could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate now. But that main gate was locked, dearie. You don't need an employee key card to get- You nah! You'll need an employee gate key card to get in. 
Oh, I just had a mini heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> right, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Paul Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since this morning. Son of a bitch, Mac! <laughs> you gotta, oh you my gotta god. Bust that. <laughs> yeah. Hold it! A run through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon, and we were able to use the afternoon for practice. We also was supposed to start at 5. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping, when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there after noon? I will. I had some errands to run that morning. Oh yeah? Hold it, what errands? What kind of errands? Oh well, you know. Answer the question! Actually, I was watching Paul, Paul Hammer and Powers observing, you know. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? What was that? I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's fun moves. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Well, I'm gonna see us in steal the samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Hold it! Ow, I kicked the table. Uh oh. Did you see the victim then? Did I see Paul Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then till five. Hold it! So you were watching there the whole time. No breaks, not even a second. Of course! I'm a professional, you know. Oh, are you criticizing how I do my job, Papa Snapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can't watch the gate eat donuts at the same time! Papa Snipper Rapper! Snipper Rapper? That windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty through the afternoon, the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? All that. How did you know that? Ha ha ha, I have my weight. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective has a cut for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe, getting ratted out by a security guard. It just seemed to me because I have a, uh, because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. Hold it! Two? You sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, oh, now, don't get your skivvies all in the bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Shit, you went through it. <laughs> Nick! Oh no. <sighs> Doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Windbags love gossiping about other people's misfortunes. This is so mean to old people. <laughs> Ugh, did she get her kick somewhere else? Uh, you didn't press the last statement, man. that's the only way you have it passed. And I can't go back? Yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah you, this is the first statement, so you can go through the testimony again and then go to the last one. Oh, gosh.
uh, this statement that you have in quest. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Oh, God flex in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. Now say it again. It was him. Alright, uh, go ahead and present evidence on whatever statement you want. So, I have very little evidence. Yeah. Okay, he died at 2.30. Yeah. Okay, so the chest fire sphere. Uh, you can press A to look at the map. Right. Uh, yeah. Take it at the gate between the entrance of the studios. Uh, yeah. I've been doing a run through since this morning. No. I had some Aaron. errands to run that morning. Do you have any evidence to prove where she was? No. It's 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. We have proof that she's died or gone. No. Okay, right, let's go to the next statement. Here's at the main gate until 5. Okay. But it happened at 2.30, right? Yeah, it did. Yep. I saw a certain man walk by at me, uh, by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. So, do you have any proof that it's not powers, it might not be powers, or... Oh, this, right. Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Or, miss... Miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? To just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag! Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can play and see those powers, right? Don't they cut! Um. Well, I, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hm. Not the old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known of all information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone would be so dozy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I show that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. You even give me a give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. We'll find out the evidence. Hear about the proof next episode. The next one. Goodbye, everybody. Gonna do smash that dislike button, yeah. hate comments, give us hate comments, yep, and subscribe and hit that bell. All right, I love you. See ya. Love you, bye.